Hello, we are discussing about gate 1999 EC paper and the question is related to analog circuits. Crossover distortion behavior is characteristic of A. Class A output stage B. Class B output stage C. Class AB output stage D. Common base output stage So, out of the four options given, which will, can, which will be having a crossover distortion behavior? The right answer for this question is B. Option B. Class B output stage has crossover distortion. That is the disadvantage of class B power amplifiers. Okay. Now we will see what is meant by this one and why it is not present in the other three options. Okay. So first we will look at the class B power amplifier block diagram. So this is what the class B power amplifier diagram which I have taken twice so that we can explain the positive half cycle separately as well as negative half cycle separately so it is this circuit is class b power amplifier the main purpose of power amplifier is to boost the power level okay that is nothing but product of voltage and current must be very high so that you are boosting the power level so to boost the power level we require a larger currents Okay, even though you are going with power supply voltage of plus VCC to get the more power level current has to be very high so that currents for the power amplifiers are going to be very very high generally to meet this requirements we will apply the output of voltage amplifier as the input to the power amplifier because output of voltage amplifier the current is very high and that is going to be used as input for the power amplifiers so that the power level of this power amplifier stage is going to be boosted up so now we will see for class B power amplifier the Q point is it remember that one class B power amplifier the Q point is going to be present at mm, in exactly at the saturation point that is starting of saturation point Q point is going to be located at because of this one Okay, even though you are applying a positive half cycle for both the transistors, only one transistor is going to be conducting. Okay, the Q point is going to be generally located. It. So this is a Q point. Okay, it is VCE versus IC. So Q point is going to be located at near to cutoff region or near to saturation region either way you can locate that is nothing but over here also you can locate or over here also you can locate so assume that when we are locating Q point at cutoff point so this is just at the verge of cutoff cut portion so due to this one even though you are applying a small uh, even though you are applying a sinusoidal signal both transistors will not work that is nothing but will not be come into the on condition so first of all we are going for the during first case 1 during 0 to pi that is nothing but we are going with the first half cycle that is during positive half cycle of input signal for during positive half cycle of input signal is nothing but this is what we are interested in the portion so only during this portion we are interested in for this portion this is a first splitting transformer that is nothing but center tap transformer the tap at the secondary is exactly at the middle such that the voltage is going to be divided over here this is positive half cycle positive half cycle is nothing but this terminal is plus and this terminal is minus so this is phase splitting transformer this is it is going to be giving the voltage priorities in this manner so that we are applying VBE VBE for this T1 transistor and this is T2 transistor assume this is VBE2 VBE2 so for VBE1 you are applying positive voltage for VBE2 you are applying negative voltage because plus sign is coming towards negative of this power supply so that this VBE is going to be negative and this VBE is positive so the T1 comes into on condition and T2 comes into off condition whenever T1 comes into on condition and T2 comes into off condition at that time the collector current flowing through this T2 is going to be 0 IC2 is equal to 0 whereas the current coming from this one 
collector current is nothing but IC1 flows and IC1 is flowing is nothing but from VCC onwards the current is flowing in this direction as the current is flowing in this direction the current is moving opposite direction that is nothing but out uh, upwards collector current 1 that is IC1 is moving upward direction because of that one the load current we can assume it as IL IL is flowing in this direction so you can say this is the direction both are going to be same so the current flowing in the collector of T1 transistor and the current flowing through the load are in the same direction which are going to be in the both are upward direction so that same signal is going to be available at the load side also that is you will get the negative half cycle at the load which is same as the current flowing through which is going to be which is proportional to the current flowing through T1 why you are getting negative half cycle even though we are discussing about positive half cycle because this is a common emitter transistor common emitter transistor will provides 180 degrees phase shift so that if you apply positive half cycle the output will be negative half cycle if you provide negative half cycle output will be positive half cycle ok so because common emitter amplifier provides 180 degrees phase shift output and input are phase shifted by 180 degrees so this is what the operation under during positive half cycle similarly if you consider the operation during negative half cycle at that time this is second part during pi to 2 pi that is negative half cycle of input signal negative half cycle of input signal ok so again we are going for the same thing this is T1 transistor it is T2 transistor current is going to be flowing in this direction and the current flowing is IL ok this is current flowing through collector is IC1 current flowing through collector of T2 is IC2 ok now we are going for the input signal during negative half cycle so that this polarity of the input side is minus plus and phase splitting transformer is going to be providing minus plus minus plus now VBE1 is going to be negative and VBE2 will become positive so T2 comes into on condition and T1 comes into off condition so that during this portion there is no current is flowing from pi to 2 pi in the T1 transistor and in the T1 transistor current is flowing during pi to 2 pi and if you observe current is flowing in this direction ok now current is flowing V plus VCC the current direction ok look at this carefully the current is going to be coming from the plus VCC and it is moving in this direction and now actual current flowing in the secondary transform uh, this is transformer output transformer is now downwards this is the current flowing IC2 so the current flowing in the uh, primary of output transformer and the load the, that is secondary of output transformer are in opposite directions so that if you get positive half cycle at this side that will be phase shifted by 180 degrees so that you are going to be getting this output waveform ok so during pi to 2 pi the current flowing through the load is going to be look at over here this is the load current now you will get the complete cycle this is what how you are going to be getting a complete cycle for the input signal and the power level is going to be boosted because voltages are going to be same around plus VCC but the currents are very very large because the input is coming from the output of voltage amplifier but the disadvantage of this one is nothing but always we are saying whenever VBE is positive transistor comes into on condition whenever VBE is negative transistor comes into off condition is the transistor comes into on condition for a minute small positive voltage also that is the question but we know that BJT will come into on condition whenever come into on condition is nothing but it is coming into active region so BJT if it is that is transistor if it is in active region then it is going to be called as on condition for our operation active region is nothing but emitter base junction forward bias and collector base junction reverse bias 
emitter base junction reverse bias is nothing but it is simply emitter base junction is simply a pn junction if it has to be comes into forward bias and current should flow the applied voltage should be greater than 0.6 volts that is a pn junction comes into forward bias effectively whenever the voltage across that pn junction is greater than cutting voltage and cutting voltage of silicon pn junction is around 0.6 volts so during positive half cycle remember this one during positive half cycle okay t1 transistor comes into on condition only when only when its vbe voltage vbe1 is greater than or equal to 0.6 volts 0.6 volts is nothing but cutting voltage of base emitter junction that is a pn junction so that if the input voltage or base to emitter voltage is less than 0.6 volts by that time along with t2 t1 will be in the off condition okay and similarly during negative half cycle during negative half cycle t2 will be on t2 will be on only if the base to emitter voltage of t2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0.6 volts if somehow bb2 is less than 0.6 volts by that time t2 is also will be in the off condition along with t1 so that no load current is going to be provided that is no output voltage results so whenever the input signal is going to be changing from positive to negative at that time it is going through a region where the region is going to be less than 0.6 volts in magnitude again whenever it is going through negative half cycle to positive half cycle again it is going through a region where the voltages are within 0.6 volts range so that during these portions both t1 and t2 transistors will be in the off condition that is what we are indicating over here this is dead zone of transistor 1 and transistor 2 both will be turn off because the voltage range over here is going to be less than 0.6 volts that doesn't make any transistor into on condition during those portions output current is going to be zero that is load current will be zero because of load current you will get the output voltage is going to be zero these are the portions okay where you are going to be getting output zero okay because of transitions from positive to negative half cycle negative half cycle to positive half cycle this will be called as these distortions are going to be called as crossover distortions whenever the input signal is crossing from positive half cycle to negative half cycle as well as negative half cycle to positive half cycle at that time okay because of practical limitations of bjt transistor whose vbe has to be greater than its cut in voltage so that output voltage will be zero even though the input is present this distortion is going to be known as crossover distortion this is mainly because q point is located at either at saturation or at cutoff in our case it is located at cutoff okay if you keep the q point is in if the q point is in active region then this situation doesn't occur if the q point is in active region that is nothing but middle of within the active region is nothing but within uh, within the that is above this cutoff and below this saturation region if the q point is located in active region at that time this problem doesn't come so that if you observe the location of q point okay q point of class a and cl class a and common base that is for options a and d q point will be in the middle of active region will be in middle of active region middle of active region and for class a b the q point is going to be above this cutoff over here or it may be above this saturation region if you are taking this point as consideration so this will be also within active region but not in the middle within active region within active region so that this crossover distortion problem doesn't occur for the class a b as well as class a and common base stages only it will be occurs for the class b output stage so the right answer for this question is class b 
crossover distortion behavior is only present in class B because the Q point is exactly located at either cutoff or at saturation only at one place both will be it both transistors will be located at either cutoff either at saturation regions okay thank you